Hi, my name is Carlos Nelson Molina and I'm the Paper Genius. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a simple paper lantern using construction paper. Okay, the materials that we need are simple. First, construction paper. So we need the construction paper, we need scissors, glue, tape. You will also need a ruler to measure the paper. We are going to start cutting 11 inches for our lantern. So let's mark 11 inches in the paper. And let's just draw a line in between those two points. And we proceed to cut. You don't need to be very precise, but the cleaner the cut, the prettier the lamp. Once you have your 11 inches, let's fold it in half. Have to be careful with construction paper because the fibers are very, very large. So you need to make sure that you crease your fold very well. I use my nail. That's why I'm the paper genius. So once you um, have the paper folded, you want to measure about one inch. Let's do one inch. On top and each side. And do it very lightly because this is only a guide for us. We are going to make cuts of half an inch along this way. So to make sure that we will do it correctly, I suggest that you measure intervals of half an inch. And do that all along the way of the fold. Okay, so once you do your marking, then you are ready to cut. So cut all across the paper using the top line as a guide to stop the cut and the marks along the fold to control the width of the folds. Try to make it as straight as possible, but again, this is a very forgiving project. You do not have to be so precise. This project is perfect for children. Children five years and um, older could could make this project very easily. And we are set. So now all we have to do is open our sheet and create a cylinder overlapping two of the segments. I'm going to use tape to keep it together. I use translucent tape because it disappears. You cannot tell. Here you got the body of the lantern. And now using the inch that you cut from the paper, we are going to make a handle. For that, I'm going to use glue. And I recommend um, very tacky glue it's um, white glue, but it's thicker, so it dries faster and it holds really, really well. And here you have the body of the lantern. Now we are going to decorate the lantern. Because it's orange, I want to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. For that, that is very, very simple. If you see here, the characteristics of a jack-o'-lantern is basically all triangles. For that we will use black construction paper. I have a piece here. Let's cut in a rectangle. And I will cut it in two. And I have the eyes. I'm going to see how this looks in the body. Do I like it? I'm not sure. So I'm going to put a little detail on the eye. I'm just cutting a small circle 
just to add some interest. Let me see if I like it better now. Yes, I like it better. So this is going to be the eyes, but I'm not going to glue them yet. I'm going to do the nose, and then I'm going to determine where I'm going to glue everything. For the nose, I want a deeper triangle. I want a larger nose. And I like to fold it so that it have a little dimension to it. See, I think this will be a good nose. OK, good. I like what I see. So now I'm going to proceed to make the mouth. And for that, I'm cutting a larger triangle. And then I'm just going to cut one tooth in each side really randomly, because that's what make each lantern unique. And that's my favorite part of making craft, that you could make each piece unique. And I like it, so I'm going to proceed to glue. I'm putting glue, just a little glue. This glue, it's really, really good. And you need a lot. And also, remember that the more glue you use, the longer it will take to dry. You see, I'm using very little glue. Here, we got our complete lantern. So now you see um, how to make the lantern, and you could get very, very creative. If you use white paper, you could make skull, and um, you, know, you could decorate it with uh, more roundish eyes and uh, more skull-like teeth, and you know, black nose, and, and you get uh, a beautiful skull lantern. And again, this project, it's appropriate to make with children. Um, it's a great family project, so I invite you to try to make this project with your children or your family. This is Carlos Nelson Molina, your paper genius. You could visit me at carlosnmolina.com. Thank you for downloading. In the next episode, we will show you how using these simple techniques, you could make some beautiful lanterns that you could use to decorate your home.